Hey everybody, TBG Hunter here, and welcome back to more Fallout New Vegas. Last time, we went to the X-13 facility and got ourselves this new and improved sneaky watched? suit. I hope we're not being watched. Um, we got a new perk, which admittedly is really fun to use, where we make enemies explode if we use energy weapons against them. We fully upgraded the suit as well, so it's got a nice little slew of perks. Did it actually show up on the suit? Yeah. We get 20% sneak speed, 1 perception, agility 1, and sneak up by 25. Really, really good, might I say. Today, we're going to be heading to the X2 facility because we need to get a, an antenna array, I guess? I don't know. Let's just get in there and see what we need to grab. A nice little snatching grab. This one looks pretty tough. Depends on what it is. It's a Protectron. Mark V! So much for pretty tough. The Protectrons is all I have to deal with today. <laughs> Fine, I'll deal with it. They're the easiest things to take down in terms of robotics. Come on. It'd be easier to kill them if for the fact that I can actually hit them and not have my shots clip against the door. Hello? Anybody home? Apparently so. Oh, that is a that is horrible game. Giving him an angle where I can't hit him, but he can't but he can hit me. So much for 95% accuracy. This will keep you on your feet. Come on, there we go. I mean, the, yeah, I got some overcharge. I might as well use that to just do some increased damage. Anything over here? Anything in the wooden crate? Pulse grenades? Sure, we've been dealing with a lot of robots. Why not have a few pulse grenades? Mountain, anything in the box, some money, I'll take that. Let's go up the ladder. All right, scrap electronics. Take the X2 antenna. Sure, this doesn't look like it'll go bad. Mobius, is that your answer for everything, Robo Scorpions? And yes, the X2 antenna is indeed a weapon. Bonus damage against robots and power armor. I how is it compared to Nuka Breaker? Bonus critical damage 87, damage 70. Actually, X2 is better. I leveled up again. Jeez, this game is being way too generous with me. All right, well. I guess we're going doing this stick again. All right, so up, sneak up to 60, up, unarmed to 95, and just dump the rest into survival because, eh, why not? I look completely ridiculous with this thing in my hand. Yeah, let me just use an antenna array just to bash people over the head with. Where'd he go? I pinballed him all over the room. Oh no, Ow. we're out of medics. Not out of stim packs. You know what? Is there a shortcut? The lobotomite has retrieved two. Count them two of the three technologies. He'll not escape what you have stolen from him too. All right. It's a good thing I picked up those pulse grenades. Ah, uh, too short of a throw. Actually, that was a pretty big explosion. All right, come on, buddy. That's one. Please take this. 
I don't want you to die. Oh wow, I'm actually getting pretty close to death. Injecting stim pack. Where are the third? Oh, there he is. This will keep you on your feet. And there's three. Was that all? And the escape plan has worked. So I guess before we head off to X8, why don't we stop here at this little, well, stopping point, see what's inside. Because, like I said, I don't remember if I said this at the beginning of the DLC. Uh, one of the endings actually uh, is, like, geared towards... Oh, man, we just flew one over to Cuckoo's Nest. Um, one of the endings gears towards the number of locations you actually visit in Big Mountain. It's actually the only time in Fallout history where, like, the ending dictates how many places you visited. Um, what? Oh, just... Yeah, over. that went about as well as they, I expected it to go. I'll take all the ammo. Speaking I shall have all the ammo! Now. Now, how do we get in there? Ah, here we go. Oh, what is it now? Ah, shish kebab. Are being watched? These guys would be a threat with all their high-powered weapons if, you know, they actually had, you know, armor. Cessation of hostilities complete. One flew into the cuckoo's nest. And it was me! I look overly angry with that. It's amazing. Oh, hi. This one looks pretty tough. I'm sorry. I'm sorry I blew up your friend. Does that feel better? I'm not sorry I blew up you. This is like a breeding ground for these guys. I don't want you to die. Uh, what to use, what to use, what to use. Uh, Gatling laser, I guess? See how this works out? Worked out pretty well. Of hostilities complete. Test subject one. Bugs. Protonic adversal acts. Why not? I guess he was like patient zero for like the first lobotomized person that come to Big Mountain. This place is weird. That's just not right. Apparently, the lobotomites also became cannibals. Any, like, information inside here? I wouldn't, like, suggest, like, a terminal entry, but it's, like, because probably it would be, like, just a random smashing of the keyboard because these guys can't think for themselves anymore. And that's... All right, let's say we switch it over to daytime. Yeah, this seems like the smart place to wait several hours in. I'm tired of not being able to see anything, so 6 a.m. should be a good enough time, hopefully. Let's just get out of this place. I'm getting nightmares.
Feels like I've call I'm on the surface of the moon with this lighting. Alright. Uh, let's see what's over here real quick, and then we'll make our way over to... Two plus two equals... Oh no. The har harnesses and the lobotomites have teamed up. Everything here wants me dead. Does that feel better? Uh-oh. Um, hang on a second. There we go. Would you just die already? Jeez. I mean, technically you're already dead. Can you stop functioning? Thank you. Cessation of hostilities complete. Well, it's a good thing he was wearing a spacesuit because I think I just launched him into orbit. I've been doing that a lot lately. This thing eats up ammo pretty fast, I'll say. Uh oh. Back away, backing up. Oh man, he's got a plasma caster. Not anymore, he doesn't. He has no idea what to do. He doesn't have a weapon. Okay. Gatling laser, not really working out. Right, where's that guy who's lobbing fireballs at me? There he is. Please take this. I don't want you to die. Okay, hey buddy. Mind knocking it off with the fireballs? Injecting stimpack. This place is a madhouse! <laughs> too many things shooting at me! I went on this vacation to get away from the war, not to be dragged into another war! Okay. Actually, you know what? Can I repair the... K9000? No. Uh, no, I can't repair with anything, so drop that. Holy hell, will you knock it off with the fireballs? I don't know, but I'm about ready to knock your lights out. Also, yes, that was, in fact, the Doctor Who references. Apparently, the developers of this game really had a thing for Doctor Who. Because that's, like, the third Doctor Who reference in this game. Like, there was the one in Dead Money, I think. Whoa! Okay! Whoa there, buddy. Okay. Seriously, where did you get a rocket launcher? And where can I get one? No rockets for you. No. You need to be at least this alive to be able to handle rockets. Yes, technically it's a missile launcher, but let me just have this. That no one has ever been as unnoticed as me. I will switch That's back all. to my power armor if you do not shut up. Ready. Hello! Left field artillery! Where is it? Oh, oh, that, that, ooh, ooh, ooh. Ultimo bot. X8 and X13 and X2 are your destination, non-lobotomite. Can you hear us? You must hurry! Yeah, I'll get right on that just as soon as I deal with this entry bot. Uh, 
bad. Alright, this does bonus damage against robots. Taste my science, you fool! Bad guys dealt with. So much for being Ultimo. A layer? Actually, it was the L. I think LAR is actually the. Yeah, isn't this like the unique version of. Yeah, this is a unique weapon, actually. So cool, we actually co collect a unique weapon. I don't know, maybe I'm wrong. A, a future me will probably throw it up if I'm right or wrong or not. Ooh, look at this big boy. I must shoot this. It is my life goal to shoot something this big. Hello. Oh, two of them. Double the pleasure and double the fun. Initiate test fire. Take that, mountain. Again. Again. I could do this all day. Oh, it's so fun. Can I test fire the other one as well, please? Uh, I don't think I can test fire this one. Actually, wait, what was that? No, it's just boxes. I guess I can't test fire the larger one, which is sad. But actually, in doing so with that test fire, we opened up a another area to explore because, you know, we gotta go investigate the crater that we created. So it, it's somewhere in this direction. Just gotta wait until you see a huge crater in the ground. Might just cut to it. It's actually just a direct path to where we need to go next. Is it? Yeah, it is. Which means I need to go to Higgs Village first and redirect my thing. So we need to go to get a Brain's best friend. Then the emitter upgrade. It's been a while, so I just want to make sure. Yeah, the emitter upgrades over at the facility. And then the robot, one of the personality switches is over by X8. So we'll go there next. After X8, of course. Nope. There we go. Hmm. Ulysses Point. Well, it's pretty close to Higgs Village, so why don't we explore this? It's not exactly the crater we're looking for. I, Dr. Mobius, will soon control you and all of science. Hey, Mobius, is science making that uh, mountain disappear? Because if so, impressive science. Let me explore this place. This seems like something that lead to a bigger point further down the line. I don't know what I'm saying. Hmm, not a bad place here. I actually wouldn't mind making this into like a nice little like hangout. This actually just screams a cool little area. Ammunition boxes. Get in here, please. Thank you. A stealth boy, nice. I haven't seen one of those in a while. I haven't been using stealth boys as much as I probably should have. 
Granted, they are in a limited quantity here, unless you like do it like a duplicating glitch. Pulse mines. I might as well have them. I never really use mine to grenades in Fallout, but you know, with being robots and robots and all here. Oh, what do we got here? Patient log Y17.9, Y17.5. Put in the crates. Looks like that was just food supplies. Anything for state boys? I'll take everything there. Anything else? Doesn't look like it. Why don't we take a listen to those recordings? Something tells me they might be a little important. Don't want to argue philosophy with you. Brotherhood are preservationists. Tech in the wrong hands, it's dangerous. Mojave's proof. No denying that. Proof's here in this crater, all around us. Your tribe, the Brotherhood. Haven't met many of you. Wanted to. Thought you might be the last chance for the Mojave, the West, the East. But you're all the same mind. Obsessed. Very peculiar. They keep making mention of a courier. Possibly could be me. And that voice, that mention of the Sierra Madre and Elijah. Believe it or not, that's Christine. I don't know who the second voice was, but he's got a very smooth voice, might I say. Good for radio talk shows. But if Christine sounds a little weird, that's because that's her original voice. If you remember from the Sierra Madre, her voice got changed because of Dean to get into the vault. So it's actually, that's, this is actually a pretty cool little area that explains a little bit of history. This is something I really like about the DLCs. They all share one big like build up to what the last DLC was going to be. And every now and then through the small snippets that you bother to explore in each of the areas, 
you actually get a better understanding of it. That's something I really like that Obsidian did with this series. Higgs Village. I thought this was supposed to be like some sort of like uh, factory or barn or garage or whatever. But no, this is actually my look. This is my goal. I don't know who that second guy is, but it seems like him and me have a little bit of history to deal with. So, we'll just have to cross that bridge when we get to it. Walk the road less traveled. This actually isn't that bad of a place. I think this might... I know it's not exactly the same as Tranquility Lane from Fallout 3, but I, you can look at me and say this wasn't a little bit inspired by it. You know, just n need to give like a black and white filter, maybe like happy-go-lucky music. Door to number zero zero. Hmm. And like all the houses in here are pretty much just carbon copies of the houses in Tranquility Lane, just, you know, desolated and all. Oh, the Securitron. Mark 1. Can't access the computer. Apparently, the Securitron had a hard night of partying and drinking. Nothing in there. Must have been like at some big house party then. Who puts a reactor in the bathroom? Well, caps, and eh, nothing really else of value in sight here, so why don't we explore the next house? Up next is 101. Not Vault 101, just House 101. Eh, I hate this station. This house is actually more preserved. It's kind of impressive. Although that painting is giving me the creeps. You know, if you just, like, got a little bit better lighting. Wow, this actually has its own built-in bar. Hell yeah, I, I live here. Scotch. Is that vodka down there? Whiskey. Wine. Vodka. Man, this place has it all. We got a sync project book shoot. I think this might be one of the sync personalities that we were supposed to get. And judging by the glove that's here, this seems to be Dr. Klein's old house. I'm guessing house zero zero was Dr. Zero's house and Dr. Klein scrubs. Sure, why not? You know what? Why, why, why don't we cosplay as Dr. Klein? Let's see. Dr. Klein's glove, critical to hit damage, strength and damage threshold, although I become weaker while wearing this thing. And energy weapons by five. Oh, no, wait. It weakens energy weapons and strength by five. It doesn't make me weak, weaker by it. I'll miss you. Oh man, why does everything feel so make me feel so sad when I take it off here? The the dog gun whimpers when I put it away. My own uh stealth suit says, I'll miss you whenever I take it off. It just can't get enough of me. You know what? I would totally have this clock. I wonder if like anyone's actually made a mock up of that clock. I know like someone made like a like a bottle cap shaped Nuka Cola clock, but I wonder if someone's actually made like a neon lit um Nuka Cola sign clock. Although those square clocks aren't really the best. Cause if so, I would totally buy it. Doesn't seem like anything in here. Uh, Mentats. I believe this was Dr. 
was what was it? It wasn't Doctor Zero. It was Doctor Eight, because I believe Eight had a Mentats addiction. And like the overabundance of Mentats here. Let's see, recipe for science skill book. So yeah, this would this would be Eight's house unless I'm wrong. If I'm wrong, future me probably fix the issue. House number three on our stop in this tiny little neighborhood is something that's apparently birdcage. <laughs> oh, hello. Door to the basement. It's very hard. Aw, oh, man. Is there going to be like a sex dungeon down there? Am I going to be appalled if I go down to that basement? Anything up top first? A lot of birdhouses here. Oh my goodness, it's Dinky the Dinosaur. I'll take it. And doesn't look like anything over here. Medicine skill book. I forget which doctor this is. Maybe the basement will yield something. If I can actually get into it. Nope. Oh, wait. There we go. Oh, man. There's going to be something nightmarish down here. Oh, uh, there are cages all over the place. This looks like someone was experimenting on animals. There's a poor caged teddy bear with a butter knife. What is this, Silent Hill? A ripper down here. Actually, I think this might have been Dr. Zero's uh, location. In because Which one of the doctors was like with like animal genetics? Was that Zero? Yeah, I think Zero was animal genetics, which would make sense why all these like animal cages are in here. So we've been to Klein... Um, we've been to Klein's, we've been to, uh, O-8's, not O's. Might have already been Dr. Mobius, because one was full of robots, so his specialty was robotics, so I think the Securitron one was, um, his then. This house... Um, doesn't look anything out of the ordinary. Bunch of books. All well preserved. This is actually a good place to stock up on pre war books that are in good condition. Got a Sync Project jukebox. Actually, this might have been A because his was in sound design. Audio sample opera singer. You have found a recalibration file for the sonic emitter. Take it to the jukebox in the sink to recalibrate the sonic emitter for new effects. We'll definitely do that. At this point, I think just Future Me is probably going to uh, just pop up on the screen of all houses and their correspondent uh, Think Tank members. Alright, well, everything is very warm and red here. Anything in the back? Yeah, it doesn't look like it's... What the? Well, with the overabundance of teddy bears, this is definitely Dr. Dahlia's place. Oh, man, what is this? Fallout 4? Sexy sleepwear, dirty pre-war business wear. This is Dahlia's place, all right. She was a messed up person. I'm just going to get out of here before I have to... Actually, wait, there's usually uh, tape cleaning here, so where would it be hiding? I'm guessing the shelf? I don't want to be in here any longer than I have to be. Would it be in the wardrobe? Nope. Under the bed? Nope. Mm, guess not. I guess Dahlia doesn't have... Oh, wait, there it is. It's for... Speech. Oh, 
Ah, oh, that was a book I said. I was like, did I just set off a tripwire in here? Alright. Up next is... Oh, that's it. Alright, so where do we need to go to find Gabe? Ah, back here. Oh, God! Um... He had a miniature death claw. All right, heavy, heavy, heavy stuff on. Um, let's see what to use, what to use, what to use. I was not prepared for this. Wait a minute, that's not Gabe, that's Stripe. All right, this little gremlin's going down. Uh, okay, maybe, maybe he's not. Back away. That's right, go back to your house. Um, I'm sorry. I didn't mean it. I totally meant that, though. Why does he have an egg timer on him? I guess, being what it is, that's a that might be a Gremlins reference, since that's what Stripe is in general. Oh no, this isn't Gabe. This is Gab! Let's take Gabe's bowl. Poor Gabe. A chicken leg? See if we can think of... See if we can find more evidence for Dr. 8 and X8. Of Gabe and X8. Well, it's a good thing we're going straight to X8 next. Alright. Get this thing off me. And we'll put on our stealth suit again. My glasses back on. Oh, I can actually fix it with the Tesla armor. No, thank you. Let's see. Eh, I'll keep the matter modular on stealthy. me. At this point, I'm almost expecting my stealth We're suit to okay, make an Elmer Fudd reference. I mean, Cass already makes an Elmer Fudd reference when we're sneaking. Medics reserves empty. Yep, no, medics are empty. It was worth a look. Alright, let's get over to X8. We've spent enough time messing around here in the mountain. My aggression is increasing geometrically. Do you hear me? Think tank? Think tank? Where would that artillery shot have gone? I'm guessing that smoking crater might be a hint. Just a slight hint. But first, what is over here? Time to oh god! Robo-Brain Mark III's have stealth technology. I'm gonna be launching a lot of things up in the air, it seems. Alright. Uh, doctor's bag. Ow! The hell? Oh! Oh! Dogs! So many dogs! Well, get a dog, fight a dog, use a dog. Yeah, so I probably should heal up a little bit before we head into X8. I use a couple super stim packs to get us back to Fighting now. Y17 medical facility. Is it coming? Uh, is it more cyber dogs? Nope, robo brains and cyber dogs. Great! What the? Oh god, super barks! Take this, Goddard! Huh, very pinpoint shot from the artillery. Or is this one? Boomtown Tar- Ow! 
What the hell was that? Ow! Uh, apparently military cyber dogs can knock me on my ass. In some cases, my face. That's enough out of you, buddy. I'm sorry. Yeah, overcharged energy cell on him? I guess that's how he had, like, the, the bark of titans. Yeah, man, this thing's starting to fall apart if I'm fiddling with it. Was this actually where the artillery piece hit? I mean, it would correspond with it. Ah, yeah, here. I actually revealed the footlocker for the Atomic Vigilance Tri Radic Oxlayer and a gun skill book. What is this thing? I don't know. All I do know is. If I can find it, it regenerates my health and gives me endurance. And makes me bald. But don't worry, I have a science on my head. I don't look completely ridiculous, not one bit. Actually, if I take it off, do I stay bald? Nope, my hair grows back almost instantly. Let's head into X8 and go to school for science! No challenge is too great for me. Because of science! Uh -oh. Ah, man. What now? Something tells me it's gonna be more dogs. In that case, I'm going to school. Never thought I'd say that in my life. And be so adamant about it. That's all. I take it back. I don't want to go to school anymore. This seems like something out of, like, System Shock. X8 Main Terminal. Big Mountain Research Network. X8 Biomechanical Testing Facility. In this test, you will take on the role of one of the evil commies infiltrating the institution of honest American, le American learning. Don't worry, citizen, it's just for pretend. Your objective is to steal documents that a real dirty commie traitor, which you are not, could use to brainwash our children, which you wouldn't do. This test will help us to protect our children's fragile minds from the agents of INTERNATIONAL COMMUNISM! Agents like you! Just kidding. We know you're a loyal American, aren't you? An internal memo. Subjects will be informed that we are gauging the effectiveness of the communist infiltration of American schools. They won't know about the cyber dogs until they actually begin the testing process. One, test A en engages cyber dog protection protocols alongside standard automated turret systems. Test B adds protectrons to the previous test. Test B also includes some basic tests for field disruptor cap captains modules. X8 residential test internal memo. Until further notice, please do not enter the residential cyber dog test area or conduct any experiments using it. The cyber dogs are still being programmed and any disturbance could have Dramatic influences on their progress. Restricting access to this fashion should also help avoid any repeats of incident, playtime, settlements, for which are coming directly out of our budget. Dr. Gail Richardson, PhD, test engineer, X8 Cyberdog Project. I don't even. What the hell are in these jars? The writing's so smudged I can't read it. Apparently, they weren't all also working on cyber dogs here. Apparently, this is also where they were building robo brains. This one looks pretty tough. I will have order! Order in the facility! Uh oh. Alright. 
right, uh, let's see. Actually, uh, this thruster's 21. Take out the arms. If I can actually hit them. Science, you failed me! You gain machine head perk. Cool. Ugh, this place is a nightmare. And they already had pre made coffins. Someone wanted to go out in style. Take that shovel, I might go dig up what's at the cuckoo's nest. Uh, let's see, pulse wave module on Logan. The X813 facility has Lone Duster EM pulse wave module prototype for the Sonic Emitter for the use of our data retrieval test simulation. The module allows the Sonic Emitter to disable certain force fields. Do not allow test subjects to leave the X8 facility with this module. Even though it won't work outside Big Mountain, it is a security nightmare. Thank you all for your attention in this matter. Dr. Adam v Vigus? MD, PhD, DUM, DDM, DD, test supervisor. Burke and Project Hair. Yes, Project Burke involves what some less science minds individual might call grave robbing. Yes, we're forced into this due to budget cuts. No, none of our senior staff use the bodies for anything else. Finally, in regards to the rumor that Project Hair engages the liquidation operations against non-military targets to procure research subjects, I will not dignify them with a response. Any other questions? Dr. Adam Figs, MD, PhD, DDUM, DDM, DD, test supervisor. Important reminder to myself, while programming the new residential cyberdog module to retrieve objects thrown by human beings for purposes of enjoyment, I accidentally used an audio sample recording of its bark as the object to be fetched. The cyberdog now has become attached to the sample and displayed signs of aggressive tendencies when I attempt to recover it. I have left it in the residential reconstruction area until it is needed. I believe the cyberdog has buried it. Well, it's a good thing we got a shovel then. And this is a medical nightmare. Enter it. Basic test. For this test, you must use any means necessary to retrieve three student files from average high school. From an average high school, basic security has been activated. Success. Retrieve three student files. Security measures prohibit you from retrieving the files. AKA, do not die. Ah, yes, the most average American high school. You're my best friend forever. You may know me as the head chief first researcher of lab Z9 and Z14. Sneaking gun, fighting now. So you're the one behind cats doors. Right then. Of course it's locked. Wolverines! 
Oh god! Too many dogs! Does this technically count fighting robots? Dangerously low. I probably should switch off my stealth suit then. How low is it actually? Pretty low. Um, I don't really want to do risk anything. Well? I guess I'll just stick with my standard issue armor. Any way to get health? Anything in the desk? Nothing. Actually, is there anything for the research stuff? Also, did I miss out on. No, I. Yes, I missed out on one of the sync personalities I need to go back and get next time. Records. There we go. High school whore! Ah, turret control system. Priority? Figures. Long administration, alright. Uh, you have to pay turret system. There we go, that deals with all the turrets. Wolverines! Can't tell what's in there. It's flagged as an enemy. Wait, what? Oh, there must be a classroom over there. Hello? Student records. Retrieve Richie Marcus. Midterm grades. Midterm grades report Richie Ball Lover Marcus. F, F, F minus minus F. Yes, we're all F minus. Skeleton! Ah, man, science can't beat the skeleton. No talking in the library. Oh, shh, it's probably the sound I'd be making right now. No talking in the library. Take the brush gun. We gotta be very quiet. Otherwise, we'll get in trouble for talking in the library. Get the student records. Charlie O'Bannon schedule. Charlie O'Bannon's after school schedule. Ballet. Tuesday and Thursday, 4 30 to 4 30, 6 30. Map squad, Wednesday, 4 15 to 5 15. Tutoring center volunteer, Monday, 4 15 to 6. We should be getting out of here soon. Otherwise, we're gonna get in trouble. Okay, we're out. Doggies! Down, boy. Where's your hall pass? I'm about ready to drop over dead. I need to heal. Uh... Uh, 
Eh, I guess I'll stick with the Tez armor. I need to get some way to fix all this stuff. Wow, it's ate up most of my stim packs. As much as I kind of like the stealth suit because of all the perks it gets, it, man, I wish there was a way you could turn off the stim pack consumption because you lose them fast. At least with the combat suit, the only thing you had to worry about was, you know, giving it, giving you away. Ow. Where's your hall pass? I just cleanly baseball batted his head right off his shoulders. Alright, that's the game you want to play, huh? Alright, let's just grab our brush gun. The hall monitor. Where'd it go? Um, what? Down at the end of the hall is ball storage for jocks who like balls. Balls. Why me? Hello. What's behind this lovely gate? I'm guessing balls? Balls everywhere! And a baseball bat. Betsy Bright's records. Betsy Bright's disciplinary records. Unexcused absences, seven. Disruptive behavior, three. Smoking on school property, 11. Anything with the picture? Nope. Where'd you two come from? And why is that not working? That was weird. Um. Oh, there you are. I don't know why I haven't been using the brush gun this whole time. It's actually pretty useful. I guess because the ammo is pretty scarce for it. Oh my! You got to the residential test. This is really Boros, by the way. Uh, hello again. None of us thought you would get this far. And the text story began advanced into. Hmm. Welcome to the mansion. This is Greg. K9 Cyber Dog sealed in X12. We had another unfortunate occurrence while attempting to destroy Mr. Harris's trauma harness. The disaster control team member carrying the gun slipped and fell, dropping the weapon unarmed. The team had to flee and seal off the lab. Unfortunately, your K9000 Cyberdog gun prototype was sealed inside X-12. We've had a small issue with our Y-17 trauma harnesses. Sadly, a member of the X-12 research team choked on a buffalo gourd seed and died while working late last night. For some reason, his Y-17 trauma harness will not shut down. In fact, it has begun malfunctioning and causing the late Mr. Harris to attack other employees. Do you have any prototypes you could lend us as a means to stop it? I'm sending over K the K-9000 Cyberdog gun. It should do the trick. Let me know if you have any uh, operational questions. Brains! And magnum rounds? Alright. Plasma grenades, that's always helpful. Anything else over here? Doesn't look like it. I 
I don't know how playing being good at poker is supposed to help cyber dogs become good weapons in the war. But I'm not a scientist. Sit, stay, kill, call them. Hmm, I wonder what happened to the Protectron. Poor guy. A varmint rifle? Man, I haven't seen those in ages. I should do a varmint rifle run at this game. Oh god! You don't run up on a guy while he's killing robots! You got issues, you know that? Serious, mind-altering issues. Weapons, recipes. What was that? That's all Sierra Madre stuff. Time bombs, most impacted, line. Skill book speech. Satchel charge. Recycling flamer fuel. Meals to meal. Huh, I guess I keep... Weapons... Nope. I wonder where I... I guess I gotta go back to the... The sink to get the... Cyberdog weapon up mods. Alright. Oh, hi. A lot of lobotomites in here for some reason. You'd think with all the security and stuff, they would have been killed off. Serious, serious issues you got there, Klein. Shipping department, usual shipment, please advise. Uh, we received the latest shipment of dogs for the cyber dog experiment process, but, well, frankly, I think our suppliers screwed us. The animals must be basically feral. Every time we get close to the shipping kennels, they let out with the most god awful hissing and, well, rattling. It's the only way I can describe it. Please advise should we open the kennels or just send them back? Please advise. So, at Dr. Richardson's request, we opened one of those kennels for our latest shipment. The dog inside, and I use that term very loosely, appeared to be suffering from a truly horrendous case of... Mange. Okay. And upon being released, it immediately attacked, killed, and attempted to swallow whole, sci whole science specialist Ackers. Luckily, the situation has, for now, at least contained itself, as SCP... SPC, almost SCP, Ackers was very lar was a very large man, and the creature had choked to death. Does anyone know anything about this shipment? Please advise. That would have been that would have been an interesting thing. SCP being the Big Mountain Research Team, shipping department in lockdown. In light of the large number of fas fatalities due to the latest shipment of experimental test subjects, the shipping department is going into lockdown. I gave you my personal assurance that as soon as this plague of monsters has been dealt with, I will work overtime to get your deliveries to you in a timely and efficient manner. 
as I am currently the only surviving member of the shipping department. However, there may still be delays. Until then, Dr. Callus in X-13 has the pass card for the area. Skippy, sole survivor. Regarding shipping department lo lockdown. In our latest supervisor meeting, we discussed the possible benefits of small shipping accident. We are... Find key to X-8 kennel sets in X-13. Uh, considering studying the unexpected specimen shipment by releasing them into our test area before removing them from the X-8 facility. The shipping department will remain in lockdown until the decision has been reached. Dr. Adam Figgis, indeed, I'm not going to read all that stuff again. Dog and lobotomized splicing experiment. This holotape contains dog and lobotomite splicing data that could be used at the X8 biomechanical splicing terminal. Man, this place just gets more messed up as I get deeper into it. Take the ammo. Anything else in here of value? Doesn't look like it. I can't tell if those are rocks, the nests, or... Oh, that's a grave right there. You'd figure you'd see a couple of Night Stalkers walking around out there. But I guess technically they would be forever hostile because they'd notice you, but you, they can't get to you. I don't even know if there's a way to actually get down there. There might be. No, we can't go into there because we need that key card from X-13, so we're going to have to keep this place in the back of our minds. Ugh. I can never get used to it the many times I come here. Enter institutional data retrieval. Oh. Enter residential cyberdog guard test. The parameters for this test are currently incomplete. Beware of dog. I don't even want to know what that sound was. A key required to get into level two. Anything back this way before we continue on? Level one. There's something in here. And it's just a mystery. Or the generator room. Specimen facility terminal. Biomechanical splicing rules. Due to the recent government mandated bags to our funding, only three experiments may be performed per day. Two, we do not have infinite kennel space here in X8. Only one cyber dog beyond those needed for the testing process may be created. We clear any and all debris from the platform before constructing any splicing experiments. Four experiments may, are not allowed outside the XA facility. Five, finally, security must be disabled before experiments can run. Splice lobotomite robots, splice lobotomite and dog. And that's how robo brains are created. Feel different. Awake. Alive for the first time ever. What is it all in store for a dream? Well, that's failure. Mark that down as uh not right. Alright. Let's try and right. clear the splicing area. 
Let's try splicing it with a dog. Well, that's depressing. Gonna say, um, depressingly bad. This is why I'm not a scientist. Wait, anything else in this room? Yeah, it doesn't look like it. Anything down there? Eh, doesn't look like it. All right, well, with that horrific thing that I've just done, I think that's probably a good place to end things off. Next time on Fallout New Vegas, we're going to continue through the X8 research facility. We're going to see if we can finish off all the tests that we have to do in here. See if, we, if there's any more things we can unlock. Get the node that we need for the, um, the frequency gun. What was it? The sonic emitter. That was it. And then we'll probably do a little bit of exploration around Big Mountain before we head back to the sink. So until then, I will see you guys next time. Later.